Well, today, hundreds of at-risk high school students on our first coast attended an annual event geared toward steering Jacksonville's youth onto the right path to success. But the event kicked off just hours after the 10th homicide in the city of Jacksonville in the first 24 days of the year. On your side's Nick Perot was there and he talked with Sheriff Williams about the city's latest efforts to combat the crime rate. Well, Anthony Genie, Sheriff Mike Williams said the inside the Hyatt Regency here where this event was held, there's not one cause for the crime or one reason that is going, one solution that is going to fix it. But organizers of this annual event hope to help. You have to get disciplined. Bringing together these 300 at-risk students in one room was relatively the easy part. The challenge is getting them to change their mindset. There is a subculture that, that, that has to be penetrated not just with programs, but with presence. Save Our Sons founder, Bishop John Guns, says this presence of former coaches, law enforcement, and motivational speakers is a crucial first step, combating the idea that drugs and violence are an answer. Young men don't know themselves. They are followers and not leaders at this point. But if they come face to face with the real them, they'll be able to recognize that they are somebody. They are extremely special and needed in our community. The Jacksonville community is facing its highest homicide numbers in more than a decade, 10 so far this year. When I talk about that gang, gun, and drug culture, that's where we're focused. And what drives these numbers is them victimizing themselves over and over and over again. Now, obviously, there's concern when that happens of innocent people that may be bystanders, and so that's the challenge. Sheriff Mike Williams says programs like Shot Spotter, the Real Time Crime Center, and Crime Stoppers are working more communication is needed and coming to the city. We're going to create some pathways to get them to you know, share information with us anonymously. You're going to have some things we're going to roll out here in the next month or so that are going to, again, make it easier. When you walk in with that mindset. These leaders say both community and police efforts need to be consistent and frequent over time to see a change in our crime rate. Because it's all a process. They didn't get here overnight, and we're not going to get them out overnight. But collectively, we can move them. And back out here live, Sheriff Williams did say that since October, the International Association of Police Chiefs has actually been here in Jacksonville working with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office on efficiencies and ways the department can improve. Now, again, Sheriff Williams does expect to ask for more police officers in the upcoming budget cycle. We're downtown tonight. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.